Hi guys, Phil here. Today we're going to show you how to install a mod to wild switch on your C7Z06. This is a great little upgrade you can add for your car. It only takes about 10-15 minutes to install with a couple simple tools. The advantage of this system is it gives you one button here to open and close your exhaust valves to give you that great sport sound even if you're not in the sport setting. You can control it through your computer on your dash, sure, but you're going through multiple screens. This here you just hit one button, it opens, one button, it closes. It's a great upgrade, super easy to do. We'll show you how to do it right now. All right guys, when you open up your bag, here's what you get. Here's your controller with all your wiring already attached, all your fittings, the clips, everything you need to do. Got your zip ties here to hold up the wires and two remote controls. That's all it is. Real quick and easy install. All right guys, we're gonna show you how to install right now. Real quick and easy. Let's go up, pull these two tabs back, open this up, put your lid aside. We're gonna be working here with this 20 amp fuse here, number 42 on our 2018. First step we're gonna do is remove the nut here on this ground, up here between the alternator and the air intake. Need a 13 millimeter deep well socket. Trip, little trick here we have, because you don't want to lose this. It's going to be nearly impossible if it drops all the way down in there. You can put a little piece of tape over, reach down and put it over there, and then you can slide your socket down over top of it. The extra resistance from the tape will allow you to remove the nut and keep everything all attached so you don't drop it down inside your engine bay. All right, we've got the ground strap installed, so now it's time to install the controller. We're gonna use a spot up here on the inner fender, so that way it's away from all the heat. There's tape right here on the back. Just peel, it, peel off the backing. Side underneath here and press firmly and hold it in place here for you know, 10, 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Now we're on to wiring it up. All right, now we're gonna show you how to wire it up. We're working here at this 20 amp fuse, number 42. It's called out for your exhaust valve. Use some needle nose pliers, pull it out. Then slide your 20 amp fuse the upper part up here, the, the wire tap. Then take this wire here, the white wire, put it in on the right side. Push it back in, great, and you're installed. Now we'll have to go do some wire routing here. What you can do, is put a little notch here on your fuse box cover to run the wires out of your fuse block. All right guys, we've got everything all cleaned up here. Now I wanna point out something to you. This blue wire here is your antenna. So make sure you don't mess with it. And just get it stretched out as far as you can. We just ran it here through this little eyelet here. Just let it run back here so it's got, make sure you get a good signal. Now we're gonna show you how to set up the interior of your car. All right guys, go set it up. It's not too bad here. Just hit settings, driving mode, engine sound management, and set it here to stealth. Now you just hit the buttons here. And you can hear it right away. That's it, you're set up and ready to go. So now instead of going through this, uh, see which one I want to do, okay, I want uh, driving mode, uh, engine sound management, uh, which one makes my car loud again? Uh, sport, uh, stealth, tour, um, you know, that, that's just crazy. All you gotta do, hit a button, there it is. Just like that. Easy as can be. guys as you can see it's a quick and easy install it takes about 10-15 minutes it gives you full control over your exhaust system so now it's down from like five 
different screens and sub menus, stuff like that. You just sound to one quick click of the button. Easy as can be, show everyone how great your Corvette sounds. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.